Establishing points along a baseline. In this video series, we've already talked about the best practice of turning to the tip of the rod where it meets the actual object we're referencing, and then rolling up to the prism for distance. That means we're always measuring our angle from the object of reference itself, not from the prism center, avoiding any potential error left or right due to prism rotation or the rod being out of plumb. So let's go ahead and set zero and get started. Adjusting our vertical axis only and using our prism or steel tape, we've measured out to the approximate location for our hub. As the hub is being driven, we want to remember to communicate line so that it's driven without too much deviation. Next, transferring line using a crow's foot front and back of the hub, then marking a reference to that line using a straight edge and a pen or pencil. Okay, here's where it gets good. As we're taking check shots for distance and making adjustments, we only need to adjust ahead and back along the reference line already marked on the hub. There should be no angular deviation. For our distance, we're looking for better than five thousandths. Once we've determined the correct position, we'll reference it with a mark perpendicular to our existing baseline. Got to make sure the instrument is on there tight. Okay, let's move our setup to the other end of the baseline. You know the drill. Looking back where the rod tip meets the object of reference, rolling up to the prism for distance, setting our reference card for line, and zero set. Adjusting the vertical axis only, hard sights first to approximate, then fine motion, we should be looking exactly at the angular reference marked from the other end of our baseline. We'll take another set of measurements for distance, again shooting for better than five thousandths, and transferring that distance to the hub using another mark perpendicular to our baseline. If the ends of your baseline were initially set using proper methodology in a previous activity, it's unlikely that these marks will be any more than a hundredth of a foot apart. These ahead and back marks are a representation of the inherent error in the way your instrument measures distance, and probably a little human error. If you think your instrument is measuring out perfectly to the thousandth, I recommend you consult the specifications for distance measurement in your user's manual, as this is rarely the case, regardless of the accuracy claimed on your digital display. That's why this exercise is so important. For our final position, we'll accept the average of the two distances where they cross our reference angle. So when setting points along a baseline, remember, distance, distance, angle. Because we haven't turned an angle, there's no need for a secondary adjustment or observation. We're simply citing a fixed point in space, and angular error hasn't been introduced. Okay, let's put a tack in that. Hey, try not to get these things stuck under your fingernail. That really hurts. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.